Hey guys, today I am gonna talk about how to make $150,000 salary as a Google ad specialist. And I will make this very clear. When you manage Google ads, your sole job is to make more money than they give you. So if they give you half a million dollars, so half a million dollars, and you take a 20% management fee, so you pay yourself $100,000, that means you have $400,000 for to spend on Google ads. Within this four hundred thousand dollars, so the client to the client, they give you half a million dollars. They're expecting probably you know a profit. They're expecting a prop. So they give you half a million dollars. So they're expecting a profit of at least two x, and most. So they're expecting a profit of a million dollars. So that's very fair. You keep a half a mil. They keep half a million. Again, a, a minimal of two to x profit. But to make a profit of a million dollars, let's say in industries like automobiles, uh, they make you know a little bit of money. It depends on financing. Th I'll just make it simple. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll make it even more simple. Let's say that you're selling an e-commerce product and your margin on the product is 50 cents. So you, it costs a dollar and it costs the person 50 cents overhead to for the material cost of goods, shipping, um, you know, anytime a scam happens, you know, loss of goods, you would, you know, at 50% margin to make a million dollars profit, you would need to sell $2 million uh, of items. So I gave you half a million dollars. My profit on this one, uh, on this item is, you know, I sell it for a dollar. My profit after everything is accounted for is 50 cents. I need you to return me $2 million. Out of that $2 million, half a million will go to you. Half a mil uh, one million will go to the expenses or the cost of goods of the product, including employees overhead to make the good. And then half a million goes to me profit. And that's the minimal. Most of my clients, they want a 4X return, four. So using that analogy, if you give me half a million dollars, I have to deliver a lot more money. So the reason that PPC people can make so much money is because they make money for their clients. That's Google ads in a nutshell. You don't run Google ads unless you can make money. It's that simple. And I think a lot of clients forget that. They want likes and engagement and that's all fun and things, but you will eventually go bankrupt if you don't make money on your Google ads. Google ads are incredibly expensive, very, very volatile. I mean, you might have a really good month one month and then the next month is trash because you have, again, more competitors come in. You have maybe one competitor has just come into a bunch of money. Maybe they won a lottery ticket and now their budget from 1,000 is now $100,000 that month. You don't, you can't control your competitors. And that's the frustrating part about Google ads is you could have the best account but you have no idea what your competitors are going to do in the next week or even the next day. They can tear apart your account. And I, that's what I do to my competitors all the time. But the one thing I can't really compete about, compete against is the competitor with a massive budget that's way too big and you're just bleeding money, which is fine. But they also, you know, bleeding money is not good for any company, but some companies don't really keep track of the money they bleed. So it goes on until they go bankrupt. So the reason that Google ad specialists gets paid so much money is because they make so much money for the client. So let me play this way. Let's say uh, you give me $10. If I could turn that $10 into $200, a profit, you would probably be like, hmm, we should probably give this guy a hundred bucks and 200 bucks and so on. So why I love Google ads, it's, it is fair. It's fair. Very few things in life are fair. If you go to an interview, people, and I, I just be honest with you, people will judge you by the way you dress, by the way you speak, by the um, jewelry you wear, by you know your gender, by your, if you have green hair or white hair or whatever hair, if you have by your age. I know like people will say, oh, it's illegal ageism, sexism, racism. But like, we don't live in a perfect, we don't live in a perfect community. It would be so 
unrealistic for you to say, oh, well, hey, let's hire, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying, right? Weightism, I guess, uh, is there like a ism about that? Discrimination based on weight? But when Google Ads happens, everyone's fair game. No one, Google Ads doesn't care about your gender or your race or, and that's why I love you so much because I can always win. In life, I can't always win. When I go to pitch a client, I don't always get the clients that I deserve to get. And that's not from me being cocky or arrogant. It's just me being me. You know, certain ways I act and certain biases I have and certain ways I speak and certain ways that, you know, and the fact that I'm an Asian male, that all comes to the table in terms of whether or not someone hires me. For Google Ads, it's very clean. None of that matters. And I will beat the blank out of you because you don't, again, I'm, I'm trying to phrase this in a realistic. I think a lot of you have this unrealistic view of PBC and owning a marketing agency and you think you can be lazy, you can sit, think you can sit at a beach. You can't because I don't care how beautiful you are at the beach with your laptop. I will crush you and eventually that, that client will learn or be out of business. And then my clients who don't care about my race, my gender, my identification of any type, they're gonna win because they have me and I work 18 hours a day and I work on weekends and holidays. So I think anyone can be a really good at Google Ads because I am really good at Google Ads and it's fair. The more time you spend on it, and you don't have to be super smart, you just gotta spend your time on it and do the best job you can for your clients. And that will pay off. Anyway, hi guys.